Good afternoon, Sales Academy. Uh, listeners, followers, tweeters, LinkedIners, podcasters, YouTubers, listeners, followers, thank you as you know where you are as. Um, today's musing, more of a personal one and um, challenging one. Today's musing is... <laughs> God, kind of hit me at four o'clock this morning. That kind of personal one. Today's musing is that vulnerability, vulnerability is not an easy door to walk through. And we hear all the time about vulnerability and displaying our vulnerability and stuff. And vulnerability is a strength and stuff. And I'm a big believer in this, right? However, truly leaning in and walking through that door at times vulnerability can be tough beyond tough vulnerability is more than getting naked vulnerability is 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 throwing everything you have in terms of your armor away you know it's stripping everything back to the rawest version of where you are and what you who you are and what you do what you have become and and trusting but when you go through that door, that there are the, the, you know, the hanging gardens of Babylon behind there. And they're not always easy to fucking find either. They're really not. But they are there. They are absolutely there. And yeah, at four o'clock this morning, I I was woke. And I, I don't know if anybody else has these, but for me, it's always a four o'clock in the morning. So if I'm challenged by something personally, emotionally, uh, and I mean deeply challenged, you know, uh, I'm a pretty resilient person. I've got a great support network. Um, I have a great personal resolve, tenacity, and, and a load of life skills to get me through a pretty, pretty decent amount of whack. And I lean into my support network and I've got a fantastic relationship and, uh, I'm extremely blessed in and privileged in the position that I that I find myself in. Uh, I know it's I not I don't say that in a, it's a luck way because I worked freaking hard to be here and 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 to, to to maintain as well. So it's not without effort, right? But at times, some things, some worms get in, and when they get in, they wake me up at four. It's always just after four, and I know at that point whether is this a four o'clock wee where I can go back to sleep. Or is this a, it's four o'clock and this is coming in and there's no chance to sleep again. And today was one of those. This morning was one of those. And everything felt like it was closing in around me. Every, you know, and these are decisions, non-decisions, uh, things that have, have been said, not been said, things that have done, things that have been, happened around me, not because of me. And it's, so there's stuff in my control, there's stuff out of my control, stuff, and it's like all of it starts to bubble up, and my mind goes at 100 miles an hour anyway, as you guys know, right? So at four o'clock in the morning, on my own, in the dark night, with a frost outside, that's it, and I, and it was happening, and it was, and I thought I was being very quiet, and I thought I didn't necessarily notice my breathing, I wasn't, because I wasn't in that good space, I was elsewhere, you know? And this little voice said, what's going on in there? And I was like, oh, nothing, I'm okay. What's going on in there? Talk to me. So I did for three hours. And thank you, love. And I'm sorry for waking you so early too. But yeah, for three hours we talked. And predominantly I talked. And Beck listened. And she supported and she challenged and she poked. And she prodded and she coached and she supported and she loved and she howled. She howled me. And I went there. I went through that door. And the only way I can explain it in my head, the only way I can visualize it and, and explain it is like, you know, when you see these uh, Disney cartoons of the, 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 
what the prince or whatever trying to get to the the princess in the tower and before you can get anywhere near the tower there's all these massive great big bramble bushes and stuff like that. they've got to hack through them and then you finally find the door because you can't see the door because of all these overgrown thorns and everything else and blah and the animals are in there they're going to hurt you but and they finally get to the door and then you get the door and then you get a massive tower in it and that for me feels like the door of nobility because why would you even go near there because there's all the brambles there's all that sort of stuff so i'm not yeah it sounds a lovely idea to get vulnerable and get naked metaphorically and and just spill the beans and share how you feel how you truly feel what's really going on for you but there's all those fucking thorns and everything else to get through and it's like why would i even put myself through that when do you know what it's easier to not go there and stay away from the thorns and stay away from that door but the reality is you never never get to babylon you never get to the hanging gardens of Babylon that really do exist there. Unconditional love, equal support, tenderness, kindness, challenge, tough love as well as all kinds of love, right? But that that's what exists there. And some things come up today, long time ago stuff, you know, decisions I've made. And this is a thing I've... I've always come at life with good intentions. Has it always worked out that way? No, as it bollocks. But I've never gone out of my way to hurt people, but have I hurt people yet? Have I never gone out of my way to make bad decisions, but have I made bad decisions? Yeah. And it's easy to go, well, that makes you human. Welcome to the real world. And it's like, but that's a, that's that's missing the fucking point of vulnerability. That's skipping past it. That it, 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 excluding it excusing it denying it not even in britain you know not even being prepared to recognize it or let alone embrace it that that hurts us and we bury it deep we push it away and we choose to ignore it and we bounce back going through that door walking through that door this morning and choosing to say something and speak up because I could have not spoken up. I could have carried on and I would have bounced back in a day or so. I would have bounced back in possibly a few hours because I can do that. But it didn't, didn't feel right to do that today. Today I needed, I needed more. I needed to, to do and be different. And I needed to give myself a chance to heal from some stuff. I needed to give myself a chance to, to be held and supported to pull back together from the reeling of the shit that sometimes goes down. And that's Babylon right there for me. Hmm. Yeah, personal one. What does getting vulnerable mean to you? How often do you do it? What does it look like, feel like, sound like? When was the last time you really, truly did? When was the last time you trusted yourself, but also trusted others? When did you feel? When was the last time you felt you really could? That's where Babylon is. That's 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 not just tribe. That's not just love. That's not just kindred, you know. That's Yeah, that's Babylon. Thank you for listening.